And from the Aggies star quarterback to the 12th man, it's a tradition unlike any other during Texas A&M football games. And to represent that spirit, 12 Aggies carved in bronze will stand at the front of the new student section on the east side of Kyle Field. To make this life and a half statue come true, the sculptor met with the 12 Aggies chosen to model the fight song today. KXH News reporter Jenny Walsh takes us to the photo shoot. Those are the words heard at every Texas A&M football game. But it's more than a song to the 12th man who sings it. And this is something that's bigger than myself. Um, it's about the university and about the student body. Why Aggie junior Patrick McGinty wanted to apply to be one of 12 models for the Warham statue. If it was meant to be and if they want me to be a part of it, um, then that's kind of the attitude. I took. And a month later, Patrick, along with five other men and six women, are sawing Varsity's horns off for their sculptor. Just to see what the 12th man's about and get an idea of uh, what our student body is like, I think that's um, something that's very cool. The statue won't have exact features of these 12 Aggies' faces, but it will represent their heights, genders, and races to encompass the whole 12th man. We're commemorating a group of people, we don't do individuals because it then becomes a monument to them. Sculptor Stephen White takes pictures of the group in position, then each Aggie individually, taking down details from their clothing to shoe size. Each one of these figures is going to be life and a half, so for a standard life and a half we would think about nine feet. So in effect we're doing nine monuments. Um, pushed together to be one massive piece. White says the entire statue will weigh about 22,000 pounds. That's the coolest thing that I think. That you're gonna, like you said, you're going to have thousands of people coming from all around the nation um, to come see Texas A&M. Standing sturdy at the front of the 12th man entrance. In College Station, Jenny Walsh, KAGS HD News. The statue should be in place by the start of the 2014 season.